Everything was perfect. Jada. Except that I put too much salt. I can't lie, it was a bit salty, but it was so good. I'm here now. Today you're making seojun with me. Korean prawn pancake. On this perfect rainy day. Don't worry, it's so easy. First, you've got to cut the prawns Remove the digestive tract. Marinate the whole prawns with some pepper. Cheongju Korean rice wine. To keep the fishy smell away. Use half of the prawns whole. Chop the other half for making filling. Mm. Sprinkle them with flour to coat them lightly. Did you just see how he throws things like that? Snow for the prawns. Hot summer for us. Why separate the egg? Here is a little secret. Mixture of whole egg and egg yolk will make them nice and golden in the cooking. Time to make the filling. Chop the other half of prawns. Smash them hard if you had some stress from work or from your family. Put it in a bowl like this. Roughly chop some spring onion that you will see in most mm. Korean recipes. Red chili. How much chili should you put? Well, how spicy should be? Well, just as much as you like. Recipe is in your heart. And zucchini. This will give you nice texture. And the next is onion. Chop it nicely. If your knife doesn't want to cut the onion, you gotta sharpen your knife. Green chili. Same as red chili. This is called jokpa. It's smaller than the spring onion. Translated as chives in English. But you don't need to put this because you already put some spring onion. One whole egg and one egg yolk go in there. Why separate the egg? It gives beautiful yellow color. Now add some breadcrumbs. Potato starch. And mix it up well. Sure, you can just use flour. But potato starch gives a better texture and breadcrumbs add a nice crunchiness. Heat up your pan with some canola oil. You realize how much oil Koreans use when making jeon, the Korean pancake. Look at that. Place the whole prawns on the pan and then add a scoop of prawn filling on top Cook until they are golden brown and then flip them. You got loads of time. It takes quite a while to be evenly cooked. Yes, sir. There we go, there you have it. The beautiful golden brown seojeon. Let's not forget to have dipping on the side. One tablespoon of soy sauce, a few drops of vinegar, a little bit of sugar, add some water. Again, slice of chili are only if you like spicy like me. Here is the fun fact. Korean scientists have proven that the sound of rain and the sizzling sound of making jeon are the same. No wonder this dish is perfect for a rainy day. Thanks for sticking around and cooking with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you love Korean food, oh! Hey. It just wanna watch me make a fool of myself in the kitchen. Join me on this culinary journey. <laughs> if you followed along without burning down your kitchen, congratulations. You already better than the half the people I know. See you next time. Cheers.